the holidays in full swing, like the bridge in Weymouth. There is, of course, a whole host of ways you can choose to spend your time off. This summer, though, there is one trend that seems particularly popular. Yes, if you've tried hiring a motorhome for the getaway, well, you might have found that you're not getting very far. We've discovered that demand in the southwest is far outstripping supply. Richard Payne has been investigating why. En route to a happy holiday, the Mears family explore the motorhome they'll be taking from Bristol to Devon in a few days' time. All the mod cons with the kitchen. You've got a, a grill uh, and an oven there, which will work off the gas. It will work off, um, it will work off the electric as well for, for when you're stopped up. A week's hire will cost the best part of £1,000, money this family would rather spend in this country than overseas. It's a bit of adventure, I think, really. You can explore, you don't have to be stuck to one place, and you've got all your, your kit with you. That's what I like about it. Kit and children, excited by the thought of life on the open road. I kept them jumping around everywhere, and I kept them doing a little dance. This business, set up by a group of motorhome mates in April, is jumping for joy too. They can't keep up with demand and are having to turn people away every day. We've had probably four or five hundred inquiries for our vans since we launched. Um, and recently, as people get nearer the holidays and they're trying to think last minute, they're trying to get hold of motorhomes. But what they're finding is pretty much everybody, uh, there's no availability at this time of year now. If you're worried space may be an issue in one of these motorhomes for a week, then you need one of these. This is the American top-of-the-range version. Over here, you have a conservatory to go with every mod con you could possibly want. Microwave, no compostable loo here, there's a flushing toilet and a shower. Over there, a television. But of course, it all comes at a price. Paying quite a bit less, £395 for a long weekend in Gloucestershire, the Sweden family from Perrinporth in Cornwall brushed aside any worries of wet weather and queues for the loo. Brilliant. Thoroughly enjoyable. Kids had a ball. It was, it was brilliant. Really enjoyable. I think you've got to be conscious of space and tidy up as you go, which is always hard with three pests. Um, yeah, you just got to be, keep on top of things, really. But it's good fun. It's easy. Everyone should do it. It's great fun. And official figures suggest more and more of us are now trying what was once the sole preserve of retired couples trundling along the slow lane of our motorways. It's grown dramatically. Last year we recruited 60,000 new members. This year could be even more. So it does show that people are holidaying closer to home um, and enjoying the benefits that this country's got and at the same time supporting the local economy. Music to the ears of the owner of this Somerset business who has a near empty field where 14 camper vans and motorhomes once stood. They're all booked out. Once you've tried it, it is addictive. You want to keep on doing it. You will do away with that holiday in Benidorm and you will think, no, I'll travel the UK and do that. So I think it's going to be good for the foreseeable, for the foreseeable future. Can you guarantee the weather? Yes, we have that ability. That might be pushing it a bit, but it seems no exaggeration that, for many, the motorhome is this summer's must-have. Richard Payne for the West Country Tonight.